everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing a plan with me in my mini wrong wrong horizontal happy planner for the week of July 15th through the 21st. I just filmed a plan with me for my classic spread that I am matching this with. So go check out that video. That one should be up before this one. But like I said, I'm going to be doing a matching spread. So if you've seen my classic plan with me, you'll know that I'll be using stickers from the Happy Memory Keeping Floral Memories. Glam Girl Mini and the Wrong Wrong Mini Everyday Book. I do have an awards dinner to go to for my mom's business on Tuesday night, like I said in the other video, so I wanted to plan a girlyish spread around that, and I figured this Glam Girl book that I had been hoarding from the original release would be absolutely perfect for that. So I'm going to try to make this video pretty short and sweet because this is my mini on the go planner. If you've seen my mini setup video, then you will know I'll be using this planner, or I have been since July started, as my on-the-go planner in my purse, and I like to take it out at work to refer to it for anything I have going on outside of work that I need to know without having to carry my classic planner around. So I really only um, track major events of the week in here. I don't track nearly as many things as I do in my classic planner that stays at home. So for this spread, I'll primarily be planning for the awards dinner and then my work schedule. That is basically what I put in here. And then if I have any errands come up, then I will add those in. So I'm going to start with the Floral Memories book again. And I'm going to use the exact same stickers that I used in my classic spread. I'm glad there's two sheets of these. And I'm going to place them along Tuesday and Saturday, just like I did in my classic. It's been really fun matching my classic and mini spreads. I've been enjoying it a lot. I've seen people do it on Instagram and I totally understand why they like to do it. It's so fun. And I just filmed my classic plan with me um, for the same week before this, and I did talk through it. Like I mentioned, I don't talk through my plan with me normally because my house is super noisy, so I usually just speed up the video and add music, but I wanted to change things up since I have a quiet house today. So this video might not be as chatty because I did talk a lot in the other one um, and I don't want to repeat the same information to you guys so this one's going to be more just kind of like laying stickers down just explaining my process, not going to be so chatty. Alright so that looks super super cute and in my classic I also put stickers along the top here and the bottom. So now that I know that I already did that, I think I'm just going to go for it and just keep doing the florals before I switch to anything else. I'm going to cover up the leaves here, but I'm just going to leave those florals that were already in the book. And I didn't use the purple florals in my classic spread, but I need some small ones now. And this one's a good size, so I'm just going to add some purple in. I'm not too strict with how matchy-matchy I make this. It's just, you know, the idea of it is fun to have it match. Perfect, I love that. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Not necessarily with the same florals. I 
I did cover her up in my other spread, but I think I'm just gonna leave her and then cover her up with this flower a little bit. Okay, and then I'm just gonna add another purple sticker. And like I said, these are all from the Floral Memories book. I just have to overlap them a little bit since I'm cutting them the long way. I'm so glad I stopped hoarding these. I've been hoarding my floral stickers, well I always do. And um, I finally decided to start using them, so I'm really glad that I am. I'm proud of myself, honestly. This is the year to stop hoarding our stickers, that's what I always say. Because we're, why are we buying them if they're not going to be used, you know? It's just crazy. This one, this um, spread is way quicker with the florals because, you know, the mini is smaller. Oh, this is crooked. So I don't have to use nearly as many flowers. And I think I need to adjust this one a little bit. Alright, that looks super cute. I hope you all are having a great week. Or have had a great week. I'm filming this on Friday because Friday is my day off from work. So this is when I usually get my filming done. I've had a pretty great week. I'm just happy that we're in summer right now. A little too hot, but that's okay. Um, I'm not ready for the cold yet, so happy to deal with the summer. Okay. Florals were all set, so again, I used the Floral Memories Happy Memory Keeping book that came out, I want to say last year, but I could be wrong. So, next I need to put a box sticker from Glam Girl in for Tuesday night for my mom's awards dinner, and this is exactly what I did in my classic. I just have to find one that I want to use. And this book's actually made for the mini, and I was using it for my classic, which worked very well as also, um, but it's made for this planner, so I think it's going to be even easier. Okay, so I want to use one of these box stickers. Um, I do love this one. I'm trying to kind of stick with like a pink theme. Maybe I'll just use the ooh la la because it has lines already there. I don't want to. Yeah, so it's made for this box. And I'm overlapping it over the date because I don't really need to see the date and I just don't want to cover up these florals. I forgot that these boxes like take up the entire thing. And then I just need to track, I'm going to track my work schedule. And I used the lipsticks in my classic so I'm going to do the same here. Um, I just have to decide which ones I want to use, so... But 
yeah, like I said, I don't really need to track much in this planner. Um, just kind of like a reference on the go. I do have work on Tuesday, but I don't think I'm going to be able to mark it because unless I put another box here. Hmm. Let's go into the everyday book, and this is also for the mini. So because it's an awards dinner, I need like a glam box sticker, and they're kind of like, they're kind of um, organized by color, which is cute. use this one that says get it girl which is cute I'm gonna add some lashes And I'm also going to add the Girls Night sticker. I used the same sticker in my classic, but it was a different color. And then I used this little shopping sticker to mark Mambi release, so I think I'm just going to carry that over. And then I'm going to put a little payday sticker down again. And then I think this spread really doesn't need much and I don't have a lot of room. So... I might add one of these mini glam clothes. You can still see through that, but that's okay. Um, I should probably add some of the diamonds like I did in my classic. Yeah, so, okay, get your happy on. 
definitely putting that for Friday with the new Mambi release. for something I like this sticker it says glam it up girl I think these are for the monthly. And then maybe this Ulala sticker. This will be cute if I have any errands to run or anything like that. I think that's going to wrap it up because I don't want to overwhelm the spread. So most of the stickers were from the mini Glam Girl book. And then I used the box from Everyday Mini Wrong Wrong. And the florals again were from the Happy Memory Keeping Floral Memories book. So that is it for the spread. I'm so happy with the way it turned out and I think it matches my classic very well. It's so fun and vibrant and girly which is what I wanted for the week. I cannot wait to fill this in and if you want to see my spreads after the pen definitely check out my instagram at stacy loves to plan it's the same name as my youtube channel but it's all lowercase and there's no spaces for the title so i hope you'll check me out and follow me there as well if you're not already and thank you so much for watching this video have a great day bye